Hi all, it's Rage from Spiritual and Angelic Guidance. I'm here to do a reading for Capricorn. Um, this will be for the 24th to the 30th of May. If you've seen my readings before, welcome back. Thanks for the support. If you haven't, welcome to my page. I hope it resonates. If it does, please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. And just remember, it's not going to suit every person out there. It's a general reading, so take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Also, time is fluid. Energy can be vice versa, so take as resonates. Okay. Um, I'm just going to do tarot for this reading due to me being sick, not having much voice. Okay, the one that flew out, <clears throat> King of Wands. This is somebody who's a bit of a leader, um, very confident. It might be a good time for you to start a business if you're looking to do that. Um, somebody who's very ambitious and motivational, inspiring, that kind of that kind of person. Um, maybe you need to step into some sort of leadership role, um, do some public speaking. Um, it's also about communication and somebody who's very, you know, fiery and passionate. So... Um, you might be in a relationship with somebody who's kind of that kind of person as well. Um, if somebody is criticising you, just try not to be too sensitive to that as well. All right, let's get some cards. <coughs> too many. All right, the second one you have is about meditation. This is all about you taking time to rest, recuperate, meditate, contemplate, all those kind of things. Um, you might need to take a vacation or allow yourself sort of more time before you want to make some sort of decision. Um, you might feel like mentally exhausted, so maybe you need some more sleep. And the last one you've got is the Five of Swords. Not such a great card. This is a hostile situation. There might be some somebody in your life that's um, maybe more sort of a bully or they might be sort of violent, they might be cheating, some sort of, you know, deceit some of some kind, so some sort of hostile situation. Um, if you're trying to make a choice, it might be very unwise. Um, avoid people who lack integrity or if they have bad motives. And we'll get some more information as well. <clears throat> the one on the bottom is the oh yeah the Knight of Cups. This is somebody who's more of a fraud. You think they're like a Prince Charming, but they're not. Quickly shuffle these, and then we'll get some more information. So if somebody's not offering you a firm foundation, as I said, um, you might, let's get some more, let's have a look on the bottom, yeah, not offering you a firm foundation, and as I said, um, this person may want to reconcile with you as well, um, you may not be with this person at the moment, and you are having memories of love, you are a bit of nostalgia, maybe you thought you were going to get old with this person, so um yeah, but it's not a very, very good situation. As I said, it's more of a hostile situation. Um, that's not offering you a firm foundation. Some more. Oop. They might be giving to other people. So there might be other people involved in the situation with the Six of Pentacles. Um, so be aware of that. Um, they may try to, yeah, they're going to try and communicate with you. It's going to take inner strength to get through this and maybe you need to walk away, but in the end, that's your choice. So you've got the three of pentacles. Generally, that's a third party. Um, so it could, doesn't have to be sexually, but normally when people are giving to other people, that's not such a great thing. Um, so now you need to do some meditation, as I said. Maybe you take some time to kind of be a bit more like a hermit, kind of take some time to 
just be by yourself as I said um, you might eventually move on with the card on the bottom we'll get some more information though from about before yeah you're going through mental conflict though about it it is now time to make a decision um, I'm pretty sure you know what you want to do trust your intuition but I mean you know if the situation is hostile of some sort of not great situation um, I mean I think you know what to do but in the end that's your life um, you've got the nine of wands this is having everything inside you have everything inside you to get through something that might be really shit might be a really tough situation and as I said this person is going to come back and communicate with you but maybe you also make some sort of quick decision um, work on manifesting what you want not what you don't want this look at the situation that this was probably a missed opportunity or some sort of distraction as well but you're definitely going to have to make a choice at the moment though you're feeling like you're trapped but it's not you're actually all, all of those feelings are just feelings you have in your head they're not actually physically trapped you can get out of the situation if you choose i think last last week was all about choices and decisions and this one looks like it's pretty much the same yeah same card eight of swords you're feeling like you're trapped you're not i mean if you look at the picture she's oops let me aim it at the camera she's not actually trapped she can get out of those swords if she chooses um you know she just got to cut the things on her wrists take her blindfold off and out she walks so it's up to you what you choose to do as i said you are going to move on though you are going to leave the past behind and move on to more of a happy home uh at the moment though you're not wanting to be a free spirit and there's the same card that we had over here with the knight of cups this person's a fraud probably a liar someone that came in acting as prince charming but they're not you are going to have some blossoming new relationship if that's what you're after there'll be a fresh start of some kind um it may also be you focus on your career making money we'll find out more about this hostile situation there <coughs> oh, five swords oh, shit. Um, okay the ones that fell out um, the truth is going to come out about a situation that somebody's probably being dishonest and not wanting to take accountability for their actions. As I said, you thought you were going to get old with this person. This card came out before. Um, this person you thought might have been your twin flame is not. Um, it's more just um, somebody, maybe it could be a karmic in your situation. It could be somebody you needed to learn from. Um, but it's also you going through a breakup of some kind. And as I said, there we go same 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 card same card five of swords it's a hostile situation as i said could be things like um something that caused your heartbreak could be broken relationship betrayal rejection any of that sort of stuff you may have kids to this person um or pregnant to this person but it's also about nurturing you and i guess focus on you for now You've also got the hangman. So you are going to have a new perspective. You are going to let go, surrender. At the moment, as I said, though, you're not wanting to move on. But this person left you out in the cold. So keep that in mind. <coughs> and the fact, that, the fact that it's a hostile situation, as I said, not so great. <coughs> I just noticed you've also got you got the Knight of Cups in reverse on the bottom, but you've also got over here the Knight of Wands in reverse as well. So there could be two options. And the Chariot underneath that. So there's probably choices between people. And as I said, you've got the Six of Pentacles here. So there's probably them giving to other people. Two more five swords. Definitely choices. It looks like the choices continue for this week. Oh, and you've got the devil card. Of course you do. So you can, you need to detach from somebody that's like a devil. Um, they could have addictions, drug, sex, money, alcohol, gambling. They could be codependent. They could have obsessions, any of that kind of thing. Um, and you've got the three of cups. So, yeah, once again, could me third party. You probably need to just turn to your circle of support. Um, 
you've got the Ten of Pentacles in reverse and the Ten of Cups. Like this person is not offering you anything. Anything. Um, so, yeah, that's what I have for you, Capricorn. Um, I hope it helps. And, yeah, if it resonates, don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. And I'll catch you in the next reading. Thanks for watching. Bye.